Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today we are doing my home tour. So I'm gonna show you guys my house all decorated for Christmas. Right now I'm showing you our table that is set up for six. As you can tell on the back of the chairs, I have little buffalo check ribbons on the back of each of the chairs. Some of them are kind of flying out because the, air, the fan is on, so. But the table itself has cute little table mats. The table mats are actually set, are purchased from Kohl's. The napkin rings, I made these from products I purchased from the Dollar Tree, so if you're interested in learning how to make those, let me know. Then we have the little red truck, little lamp thing right here. I love this little lantern. I think they're really cute. And then we have some buffalo chuck around our basket here, which is where we store our fruits and vegetables, as well as remotes for the TV, because that's very important. <laughs> Then over here in this corner, we have a little shoe shelf. We have some more little red truck stuff. These are just pretty much like a catch-all area. So like we have some stuff over here for the pups. And then we have some stuff here for our party that we're going to be having. And then just a little tray. Then if you move around to this corner here, you're going to see the little uh, cookie jars that I purchased from Lakeside Collection. So those are the cookie jars. I think they're very cute. I also have this cute little cookie jar I purchased from Walmart. I think that one is really adorable as well. And then in the back there, you'll also see the platter that I purchased from Lakeside Collection as well. So all of these products were pretty much purchased from Lakeside Collection. They are not very expensive and Lakeside Collection does have sales once in a while where you can get these items cheaper. So if you're interested in getting them cheaper, they do have suction on them. So they suction down nice and secure. So if you want to put some cookies in those, you can, they'll stay nice and fresh. Then moving up to the cabinet here, we'll open the cabinet so I can show you inside. Inside of the cabinet here, you guys saw me a little bit. So inside the cabinet here, we have some little red truck stuff as well. We have cups. This is where you can get your cups from if you want a cup of coffee or if you want a cup of hot chocolate. Then we also have a little truck up here with some cups with, or a cup with some candy canes. Then we have this cute little sign that we purchased from Walmart. So most of the cups came from either the Dollar Tree or the gener Dollar General, or Family Dollar, I'm sorry. Then here is my cloche that I've made. So I actually put that inside of here as well so I could put a little red truck in it. I actually painted that little red truck. It was one of the ones I got from Michaels. Then we have our little mailbox here and the mailbox is housing a salt and pepper shaker that is the little red truck. I think that's super adorable. Now we're moving over to the middle cabinet and in the middle cabinet, we have a stack of plates. So the top plates here are from the Dollar Tree. So those are from the Dollar Tree. The plates underneath here are actually from Kohl's. These are melamine, so they're plastic. The ones on top are glass, so they're gonna be great for serving our Christmas dinner. Then we have a cute little cheese tray that my mom purchased for me, so that's a cheese tray. And then we have the cute little white car with a little with a little tree on top. I say that's my car and he gets the truck. That's how I kind of picture it as. <laughs> then over on this side of the cabinet, we have pretty much the same setup as the other side of the cabinet. So we have the cups, the cloche. So I've made two of the cloches, more cups, another mailbox. And then moving up to the top, we have another truck with some candy canes and a cup. So these are pretty much set up the exact same on both sides. They were there kind of matches together. So I'm going to close these cabinet doors back up. Close those up. That is just pretty much our plate center. What do you call that? A buffet? I have no idea. So there's what that looks like. And then we do have a little tree here. This is the one that Max likes to attack. So <laughs> if it is missing a few trees or if it's a little crooked or if it's missing a few trucks or if it's a little crooked, Max has probably destroyed them because Max is really good about stealing the trees or stealing anything off this tree. He steals the pine cones, he steals the trucks, don't you Max? And then there is where Max and Molly, this is their bed in the kitchen. We have two beds for them in the house. Now moving along over to the other side of the kitchen, we have <clears throat> this cute little bear in the corner. And the bear just has some lights with a little truck on the top. And then moving up to the fireplace mantle, we have the lights with some garland and the little red truck mixed in there. So, and then we have these lights that actually stay up here pretty much all year round. And then we have the little red truck picture. We have a little buffalo check ribbon. Another truck with some more garland and then another light. Then if you move on up to the top up here, you'll see the actual, this is the wreath that I made. That's the one made out of the acorn tops. And then I just put a buffalo check ribbon on the top of it. 
as well as a little truck in the middle so I just think it looks perfect hanging from the mirror so if you look at it there hanging on the mirror I think it's really pretty so stepping back you can see how it looks and then here is another wreath that I made I put some buffalo tip ribbon in here as well as a Dollar Tree little sign that I picked up so that is the way that our mantle is set up I think it turned out really pretty it's very country and that's exactly what I like so it works great for our house and then stepping back you're going to see an overview now of the kitchen so this is the dining area I guess you could say this is where we eat and then moving over this way you're going to <laughs> Max is crazy you're gonna see a little apron here this apron I actually I found the Buffalo Tech apron, but I couldn't find one that had the truck on it, so I found some Little Red Truck appliques and I actually ironed that on. So I have my Buffalo Tech apron with the Little Red Truck, which made me very happy. Then we have some greenery right here with some Buffalo Tech ribbon, as well as some little deer in here. You'll see the little deer in throughout in different places. Hopefully it'll focus. And then we've got some cotton pieces. And then on the ends, you'll see the Little Red Truck Noel Farms. I just think it's really cute. I love everything very country-ish. That's my style of home. This is our spiral staircase, so it's a little scary, but that's why we uh, have to watch our doggies around the spiral staircase. And moving over here, don't mind my messy dishes. We have some stuff at the tops of the cabinet. We have a little lamp up here that has some deer on it. Then I'm moving over, we have a little eat, pray, love with some more things up there. Then we have a little camper and then we have our Hinkle Christmas Tree Farm sign. We have another little lantern and we have another one of those signs that we got from Walmart so we have two of those. And then if you move over to this corner you'll see we have a home family sign and then up here we have a little wooden deer. And then moving right along you'll see our Hinkle family sign and when we were established which I think is super cute. Moving back on top of the fridge, we have a couple of deer and the little this little thing lights up in the middle. That thing lights up in the evening, so it comes on and it makes it look very cute in here. And then moving down to the stove area, we have just a little sign here that says home for Christmas and it's got a little red truck on it. Then we've got the little red truck salt and pepper shaker there. And then we've got the coffee maker and then this is the sign that I made. It says warm up at the hot chocolate bar. And then that is it, that's Christmassy. And oh no, I'm lying. <laughs> we have two of these in the window. So we have one on each side of the kitchen window. So there's one, ooh, very bright. And there's the other, so we have two of those. That's where I stand to do dishes. I like to have a little TV thing. I mean, have a little phone rest area. Max, are you bringing bones in? Bringing lots of bones? Now we're coming into where the tree is. So the tree is actually in our sitting room. So this is the tree with the gifts and I've tried to wrap ooh, all of the gifts this year in either the buffalo check ribbon or the truck paper so or not ribbon but paper then I love the sign here the sign it says always stay humble and kind I love that sign with the tree and with all the decor going on here I think it just looks really pretty and then we have our little red truck over here with some stuff in the back some presents in the back then we have a little lantern sitting beside the tree I just think it makes it look very festive I love getting the tree all done and having it decorated up. I love the Buffalo Check ribbon too. Our tree is filled with all mementos. So most of these items, besides anything to do with the Little Red Truck, is mementos. These are items that we've picked up over the years. So these are gifts that, or not gifts, but like places we've traveled or they're, they're ornaments that my kids have collected. So all these do mean something to our family. So it's very I don't know, I guess emotional, the things when you're looking at them on the tree. So I'm hoping that we'll continue to add to this. So then moving over to here, you can see up at the top of the stand here. It was hard for me to do anything up here because this is where we house all of our like stuff for internet and everything. So I just put a wreath up there. I put two little lanterns and then I put a little red truck thing that I ended up painting. I purchased from Michaels. So I painted that. And then over in this corner, which is kind of hidden, we have a little um, stereo thing, it's super cute. This was my grandmother's when she was alive, as well as the little bunnies. They were my grandmother's, so I kind of hide them so that nobody can break them because I'm always paranoid somebody's going to break them and that would make me really sad. So up here we have some more garland with the buffalo tuck ribbon going along it. 
and then down we have my little snowman that I made with the little lantern. So there is the snowman with the truck. It's buried in snow. Somebody must have been shaking him around. Then we've got a little mailbox down there. Don't, don't worry about all this mess down here because that's pretty much cords and stuff that we don't know what they go to. Do you guys have a basket full of that? Then here's some more decor as well. So these are some little trees and little red trucks. I love this little red truck. My husband actually picked that one up for me at Walmart. I think it's really cute. It's made out of completely tinsel. This little tree is one of my favorites. My mom got this for me. My grandmother used to have one exactly like this when I was growing up and I would take the lights out and I'd move them all around. So I love this little tree. It means a lot to me. And then these are actually pictures of my kids when they were little. Somebody's been messing with these as well. So these are pictures of my kids when they were little. So when they've done pictures with Santa, unfortunately they don't do pictures with Santa anymore. So those are the only ones I have. Then we've got a little, uh, what does it say? It says love will keep us warm. It's a little snowman there. Then moving over to here, we have another little snowman. This is one that I created as well, made using the Dollar Tree products. Then this is one of my favorite things. I'll have to turn it on for you guys. Hopefully it's not too obnoxiously loud. I love this thing. It is so cute. This thing, my grandmother used to have one exactly like this uh, when we were growing up and I really wanted to get it but unfortunately when she passed away it ended up getting lost so my husband surprised me one year and bought me one and I almost cried when he when I saw that what it was so I just love that little village then we have some nutcrackers and then we have a little red truck here with a tree on the back and then we have a little red truck in this mirror here so if you want to look at yourself you can also look at a little red truck then moving into the bathroom you will move in here and you'll see that I have a shower curtain that has the little red trucks on it i think this is so cute it doesn't match my walls but honestly i don't care i mean it doesn't have to match your walls to be perfect so it does have the little red trucks on it though i think it's really cute i think we purchased this off of amazon i think it came from amazon i'm pretty sure that's where it came from and then on top here we have some little red truck as well as a little this i created using a bag like a dollar tree bag so created that little picture there to hang on to the seat, hang on to the wall and that is the bathroom so the bathroom is actually decorated as well and we're moving back into this room here now this is our living room <clears throat> so this room is pretty much where we spend our evenings so let me turn some light on lights on for you so here is our little village it's not a really big village and it's kind of clustered together but I love it my son painted these cute little cars and I just think that it's so cute. Our day so Christmas is not right. Somebody needs to fix that. So we do have a cute little village here though. I think that is really cute as well as a little red truck in the village. Then we have just this little topiary thing and then these little snowmen that my mom actually made these. My mom and my stepdad made these for us one year for Christmas and I love them. It's supposed to represent my husband and I and our two boys and I just think it's so adorable. Then down here in this little corner we have a picture of my two sons with Santa Claus as well as a giant basket full of Christmas balls. I just think they're so pretty just kind of using them as decoration. Then down here you guys remember this little um, basket that I purchased. So I just threw some little lights in there and put some greenery around it and I didn't really do much with it. I just think it was cute like it was with the red with the little red truck themed so it, go, it went really well with my theme. Now my dogs are fighting, do you hear them? <laughs> They're not really fighting, they're playing. Then we have some pillows and some buffalo check blankets on the backs of the chairs. Another pillow with a buffalo check blanket. Then we have just a little wooden crate here that I like to use to kind of catch all like remotes and stuff like that. Then we have a window seat back here. I think the lighting might be coming in really bright. I'm not sure why. <laughs> so we'll show you guys that here in a second. So here's the couch with the very comfy pillows. These pillows are so daggone soft. Oh my gosh, they're super soft. Then over here we have this cute little area set up. I have the countdown to Christmas. And then we have a little sleigh here with some trees that I made from Dollar Tree products. So these trees were actually made using Dollar Tree products, believe it or not. 
Max, stop guys. Then here is our other tree. This is our pencil tree. So I love this little tree, how it turned out. I did put the boxes like this just because I don't want them stacked on top of each other. I'm afraid the dogs are gonna knock into them and then hit themselves with the boxes. That would be a little scary. So here's what the pencil tree looks like. I think it's a very pretty tree. I love the buffalo check in it, of course. You guys know I am in love with the buffalo check. Then under the tree, we do have some, these are not real gifts. They're just to make it look pretty underneath the tree as well as, let me see if I can show you. I'll stack these for a little bit, or I'll move it. So we have the actual tree skirt that I made. I made this tree skirt to use for under this tree because it's pretty small, and I wanted a tree skirt that would fit kind of perfectly for it, so I made the tree skirt. So I'm just gonna set that back. And then again, here is the window seat. Hopefully it's gonna come up so you can see it. I'm not sure how bright, it seems like it's pretty bright right now. So I don't know why it's being so bright. And then we have another window seat over here, as well as two crazy dogs. Are you too crazy? Who's the craziest one? You? I know. Oh, oh my goodness. And then we have a little village here in front of the TV, and it just has some little, these are metal little houses, as well as some Thomas Kincaid little candle holders. I don't really put candles in them, I just light them up. I think they're very pretty. So those are the Thomas Kincaids, guys. Why are you fighting? <laughs> and then we have the little tree here that I purchased this one from Lowe's. I think this is another cute little tree. I did do the little red truck uh, ribbon at the top of this tree. I made the bow. And then at the bottom here, you probably see the little lantern things that I showed you guys that I made. And then we have something, of course, that matches that. We have the Noel sign that I got that from Family Dollar. So it was a very affordable little find. And then the dogs even have a fancy little light beside their bed, so they get to be fancy. Do you get to be fancy, Molly? <laughs> I'm afraid Max is gonna lick the camera. So again, here is uh, the window seat. I'm not sure why it's being so bright though. It's super bright. I'm trying to make it so you can see it, but it's super bright right now. Let me see if I close the blonde a little bit. Maybe that'll help. So I'll just let you watch the puppy while I close the blonde. You can watch them be crazy. Because they are definitely crazy. All right, get the blonde semi-closed. So you can at least see the window seat. I love our window seats. These are so comfortable. These seats are pretty much as big or as bigger than a twin size bed. So if you want a comfy spot to lay, grab a window seat, grab a pillow, and grab a comfy blanket. So you are set. I love those little window seats. We have two of them. Like I said, there's one on each side. And then we have the little red truck here along with this little TV thing that my husband purchased for me. I think these are very cute. This is sitting on top of our ottoman, which the ottoman houses all of our games. Max likes to pull things off of there. Don't you, Max? He thinks he's supposed to do these things, I think. But he's not. And then over here in this corner, I have on our desk, I have just a little leg lamp. That doesn't really go with my theme, but that is my favorite Christmas movie. I love A Christmas Story. That is one of my favorites. And that is the entire tour of my house for Christmas, guys. So hopefully it wasn't too messy for you. I know we have some things that are not where they should be, but that's all right. It's life, right? I mean, it's a house to be lived in. So there is what our tree looks like. I'll back up so you can get like the full view there. So there's what the tree is. I think it's very pretty. I love our tree. Not that I'm like trying to brag on our tree or anything, but I do love it. I think it's very pretty. So there again is the entire room. So we're backing back out like we came in. So we back back out and then we also have this cute little wreath here. I don't know if I showed you that one. I made that one as well. And then we also have these cute little signs here that I made. These were made using Dollar Tree bags as well. So they're super easy to make. You just get the little bags, trim them to size, and you've got a picture. So again, back back up so you can see like it, it would, what it would look like as you would come into our house. So backing up. Backing up, we're almost at the front door, and here we are. So we are at the front door. That is what my upstairs area of my house looks like. So we only decorated pretty much the upstairs. I did decorate my beauty room too, but that's not Little Red Truck, so Little Red Truck is mostly focused upstairs. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for being patient and waiting for me to get this up for you guys. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see anything that I made, if you'd like for me to show you how to make anything. Thank you guys so much for watching.